Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Bowman High Tech Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We filled this break up and then we did a quick angel spot randomizer, which was great. And there's everyone right here who picked their own teams. No Astros, I'm afraid. Coop was the winner of that angel spot randomizer, so there he goes. And then the Rangers are out there. And then Richard with Last Spot Mojo Nationals. At the end of the break, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get a chance at $30 a break credit. So two, two teams max. You can buy more. But two teams max. Or at least two teams, that is. If you buy more teams, you'll limit people from getting entries into the promo. All right, so there's the fresh case right here. Let's pop this open. Let's pull some magic. Obviously, it's Bowman, so we're expecting the hot prospects out of here. Now, we were talking about my baseball picks just before we started this, started this and I had gone with... Uh, I went with Cincinnati... Over the Cubs, Cincinnati was at plus 195, which is their heavy dogs, but they have a slim 2 nothing lead over the Cubbies in the top of the seventh. They're playing in Chicago. Now, Paul Cool Witt is saying, go against the Cubs the rest of the season. They're done. What do you mean they're done? Are they do they do they have the NL Central locked up and they're just like are they just cruising? Just kicking back? All right. All cards ship as well. There's just so many different variations that I don't even know what the shorter prints are, but there's so many. We're just going to send it all to you. You can sort that all out. Nice Victor Robles, Pyrotechnics. Numbers right there, 56 out of 99 for Richard and the Nats. We'll top load these before they ship out, but just in the interest of time. Right. We got five autographs per box, all on card. There's Paven Smith. For the Diamondbacks, that goes to Derek Dowding. Diamondbacks struggling down the stretch. I thought it was going to be the Diamondbacks. I thought it was going to be the Diamondbacks and uh, the Dodgers battling for first place. But no, it's it's the Rockies that are in first. Like a game and a half. Andres Jimenez, I, I give credit to the guy. He's been working on his auto, ladies and gentlemen. That goes to the Metropolitans. That'll be Joe Ivers. Paul saying Madden has, Joe Madden has nailed their coffin shut. And you see them just mailing it in, huh? What do you mean by that? Trouble in Paradise in Chicago? Glaber Torres, Glaber Day for Heather and the Yankees. There you go, Heather. And nice Colton Welker, 50 out of 50. A little bit of controversy about his autograph, ladies and gentlemen. 50 out of 50. Johnny with that one, with the Rockies. Reese Hoskins, Green Rainbow, 36 out of 99. That'll go to the Phillies. That'll be for Luke. And Jordan Hicks right there. That's it. Wait. You only have four? Oh, yeah, four on card hours. I, I thought there was one more. <laughs> four on. I was like, I was like, did, did we get shorted an auto? We didn't. I just don't know how to count. All right, next one. Good luck, everyone. Looks like a shorter print right there for Jeter Downs. There's Michael Baez for the Padres. That's for Eric Leal and the Friars. Cito Sanchez for the Phillies. That one goes to Luke Smith in the fight in Phils. And we got Franklin Perez for the Tigers. That'll be for Derek Dowding in Detroit. And 
And then we've got purple rainbow. Purple rain, purple rainbow. Out of 150, that goes to the Orioles, John Alfie's. Remember purple rain? And green rainbow, Glaber Torres, 79 out of 99. Let's hit that right there. And then we've got Joe Adele for the Angels. Angels don't have a lot of big prospects in their organization, but Joe Adele is one of them, one of the big ones. Oh, I see what Paul's saying. So Paul's explaining his Cubs comment. He's like, hey, I'm a huge Cubs fan, biggest Cubs fan out there. And he's saying that Joe Madden is one of the worst game managers they've ever had. So you're saying that the game management of Joe Madden will lead to the downfall of the Cubs. There's Kyber Ruiz. I think sometime Dave Roberts is getting a little criticism out here too for the same reason. There's Red Orbit, Albert Alzole. 9 out of 10, one of the Cubs' hot prospects for Jacob. The Nationals look like they're done. Yeah, I think part of it has to do with how analytic the Cubs, you know, how analytic the Cubs and the uh, and the Dodgers organizations tend to be. And so Dave Roberts, I think, also gets similar criticism. There's Jeter down, except he doesn't have a World Series under his belt. Jeter Downs for the Reds. And um, and there's Daniel Johnson for the Nationals. Richard with that one. Yeah, similar criticisms, like too much tinkering with the lineup, which part of it is due to the heavy analytics from the front offices, from our respective front offices. There's Helio Ramos for the Giants. Big Boys 007, Oppo Joe Mojo. So, like, I think one recent criticism is that the Dodgers haven't had the same lineup, um, hasn't had the same lineup in uh, in ages. So, like, hot hitters, like, they, someone could be super hot the night before and then won't be in the lineup the next day just because of lefty-righty matchups. Three out of 50. Ahmed Rosario gold for Joe Ivers and his Mets. So, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes there's too much of that. Sometimes there's not enough of that. I mean, you can't really... I think we got a bonus auto here too. One, two, three, four, and five. So right, so right. So Paul, you and I are in sort of similar situations, and then people, their fans look at the club and goes and go, how in the hell is how 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 in the hell are the Dodgers, right? Only managing one run. Jack Flaherty is a good player, but let me look at the let's look at the lineup. You're right. So there's not people can't get get going, you know what I mean? You're telling me that Jock Peterson, Justin Turner, Manny Machado, Max Muncy, Yasmani Grandal, Cody Bellinger, Yasiel Puig, and Kiki Hernandez can't scrape together more than five hits and a run against against Jack Flaherty? No, Jack Flaherty's had a good season, though. But you guys, you know what I mean. I think that's a shorter print for that Raphael Devers. I'm sure Beckett or Cardboard Connection has, has a full list of what tier, what levels of the shorter prints. Tristan Lutz. Yeah, I think there's actually some Dodgers insiders are saying, and I'm sure you'll say this for the Cubs too, Paul. Some Dodgers insiders are suggesting that that hey, there's a little little rumbling, you know, a little bit of grumbling in the clubhouse because they're like, well, I don't know, you know, I'm four for four one day. I'm not playing the next day. I'm always hitting behind someone else, you know, like so it's hard to kind of build that consistency a little bit strictly based on you know, lefty righty, and also and among other splits, it's not just lefty righty splits. They've got far more numbers than that. But there's Jesus Sanchez for the Rays. Tristan Lutz goes to Jerry and the Brewers. Jesus Sanchez for Ricky and the Rays. And Shane Boz, who actually went to the Rays in that Archer deal, I think we were saying yesterday. Uh, but this one still goes to the Pirates. John Alfie's with that one. And nice. I love this new parallel right here. Ocean Blue. 46 out of 75. Franklin Perez for Derek and the Detroit Tigers. It's a refreshing looking card right there. And the nice green rainbow Joe Adele for the Angels. Scott Cooper with the Angels.
All right, another nice book. Another nice box in the books. Next box. It's got to be a balance, though. I'm not. I, I'm very much about advanced statistics. You know, I'll consider myself a saber metrics guy. I, I like, you know, I like the idea of like opening openers, opening one inning pitchers, and then the starter and all that. I like all that stuff. But sometimes it could. I feel like sometimes it could get a little much. You're kind of overcomplicating what should be something a little more simple. I think in the game of baseball, you got to find a nice balance. There's Jake Berger. There's Jesus Sanchez, J.P. Crawford. It must be a shorter print for that Brendan Rodgers. There's Adam Hazley for the Phillies. That'll go out to Luke Smith. We got Evan White for the Mariners. Evan White for Paul Cool Whit. Another clear card for you today. Yeah, the redemption. What's that redemption going to be? TD's guessing Devers on that redemption? I think he is a redemption in this set. Let's, uh... Ooh. All right, Keston Hiuda for the Braves. That's one another uh, brewer, that is, for Jerry Bennington. One of their higher-end prospects in that organization. And the redemption is Hunter Green. Nice. First Bowman Tech Autograph Parallel. That's strong. That'll be for the Reds. That goes to TJ and the Reds. Nice, TJ. I want to say that's only like one or two per case. Something like that. It's that Bowman first design, but in the tech material. And we've got Sean Murphy, 25 out of 75 for the A's. That'll be for David Kist. Next box. Well, after this one, we're about, we're, we'll be halfway through this break. And Rich is reminding us that there's only three left in Vanguard basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Another redemption. So I'm sure that will be happening. Well, actually, no. I think we have something else happening after this, right? Oh, Trinity is right after this. And then after that will be... There's Hunter Green right there. After that will hopefully be Vanguard. Daniel Johnson, Nationals, Richard... Richard A. with that. Helio Ramos. For the Giants. Big Boys 007 with another one. And your redemption is Nick Prado. High-tech autograph. Nick, Nick Prado is a royal, isn't he? Didn't we get an auto of him? Gabe with the Royals. What happened here, Gabe? What do you think? G-Lo? He, like, signed half his cards and didn't sign the other half? <laughs> That's probably what happened, actually. Could be certain, certain parallels or variations that he didn't sign. Had to turn into a... Redemption. Abandel Isabel, 29 out of 99. Joe Ivers with my Dodgers. I actually have no... I'm usually pretty good about knowing most of the guys in the farm system. Or a lot of the guys. Not all. Not most, but a good amount. I don't know about this guy. Austin Beck, Purple Rainbow. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. I never ever made to cause you sorrow. A's with that one. Corbin Burns, all card chip, of course, halfway through this break. Next half. There you go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six.
Ooh, Dodgers tacked on a run. How did that happen? I didn't I totally miss that. Oh, that's kind of complicated. I'll I'll tell you in a sec. Nick Williams, shorter print. Is that another redemption down there? That will that be Otani this time? There's Shed Long and Alex Fiedo. Shed Long going to TJ and the Reds. Alex Fiedo going to the Tigers. Derek has the Tigers. And there's a nice Brendan McKay for the Rays. Ricky Buffalo with the Rays. This is your next this could be your next big two way player right here. If he makes it to the majors, this card among all of his rookie cards will be pretty nuts, I think. And the redemption is gonna be Ronald Acuna, purple rain, purple rain. Purple Rainbow Parallel, Ronald Acuna for DMAC and the Braves. Your NL Rookie of the Year? Maybe. Nice. Another Purple Rainbow. Ronnie Mauricio for Joe Ivers and his Mets. And... Camera? What's going on here, camera? Just wants you to look at that Franklin Perez, I guess. Let's load up that camera. All right, hang on. I'm going to have to stop the recording on this, folks. Look for part two on this video. We have one, two, three, four, five boxes left. Acuna was the last, was the last autograph.